Setting up the Recurring Detail Documents app is designed to be simple and easy, leveraging many of NAV 2017's built-in functions. Start by using the search function and find the Recurring Document Number Series Setup and click the link. The Recurring Detail Documents app allows for the creation of both purchasing and sales documents, with the option for orders and invoices for both series. To add a purchase invoice number series, just make the selections using the drop downs and then either select an existing number series or create a new one unique to these documents. Click on the New button to create a new number series. Here we can see all four recurring detailed document types have been created and assigned a unique number series. Setup for the app is now complete. Use the recurring detail documents to create a sales invoice for a monthly subscription. To access the recurring detail documents, click on the Departments link, and then go to the Sales and Marketing link. Then under the Tasks list, click on the Create Recurring Sales Document link. This will open a list view of all the documents being managed by the app. Adding a new document is started in a blank line. Document type can either be order or invoice. Enter document type in the cell to customer and the app will add in the next number based on the number series you chose in the setup. Enter the start and end dates as well as the recurring frequency. The posting description will default to the document type and number, providing an audit trail back from posted invoices to the original recurring detailed document. Next, click on the number zero under the Lines column. This will open the line details for your document. In the Line Detail list, the view is automatically filtered to show just the lines for the chosen document. Next, we begin to add in the line details. In this invoice, our client is being billed for a monthly subscription, the hardware rental and a support contract. This structure will be consistent for the life of the contract, while the quantities may vary from month to month. Once the detail lines have been added, it's time to generate the sales order. The Recurring Detail Documents app will provide a status update after each generation is run. And the Sales Header view will show the results, both posted and unposted, See at a glance the current status of all your recurring detail documents. After generating the recurring order, we can now see the document in the sales order list. All the details have been pulled onto the sales order, and here the individual quantities could be adjusted if needed. Creating a recurring detail document for purchasing is no different from creating a sales document. Navigate to Departments and the Purchasing and Order Processing. Click on the link to Create Recurring Purchase Documents. As with sales, we have the choice of order or invoice. After entering the header details, click on the zero under the Lines column to enter the details for the purchase order. In this case, the recurring document is set up to track rent by department. Once the recurring purchase order has been created, it will need to be generated. The native NAV job queue can be leveraged to run the generate routine automatically. The recurring detail documents app includes predefined job objects that can be selected and run automatically. Designed to add line item detail, enhance auditability, and ensure accuracy, the Recurring Detail Documents app, powered by TMC, offers a simple and easy way to get better results.